Over in my Facebook group, I decided to start a prompt that I will adhere to for one month. I have put on ice cream sticks in this coffee cup different substrates, different techniques that I can pull and work with that particular item for one entire month, producing a minimum of four videos. I will post the videos over in my Facebook group as well as here, and I am hopeful that you will participate with me. Pop on over to my Facebook group and post your photos and videos as well. If you would like to see all of the index cards that I have created for this month, there is a playlist that will be linked on the end screen of this video that you can go and see week one, week two, and week three. Week one was a note card that was created from an index card, of course. And this tucks nicely down into your journal. Week two was a little booklet that was created with the index card being the cover. Week three, we moved on to specimen cards utilizing two index cards to create the substrate for that. And now we're getting ready to start week four. First, let me introduce my channel. I had tea stained a bunch of index cards and those are the cards that I will be using in this video. I have this speckled tissue paper and plain white tissue paper that I would like to use to create some texture on all of these cards. Wadding it up and laying it down. Applied the glue to the index card, then applied the tissue paper. Now back over the top of the tissue paper with another coat of that glue and water mixture. You can see that I have it in a butter tub over to my left. That is my homemade Mod Podge, which is one-third water, two-thirds glue. Once those are dry, I will cut around them to trim them all up and make sure that the edges are nice and clean. This is the speckled index, or not index paper, the speckled tissue paper that I utilized. And I am just trimming, as I said before, around the edges. I also want to pull in my crocodile and round up the corners on each of these. Now, if you don't have a crocodile tool to round your corners, you can always lay a bottle cap right on the edge draw around that and that will give you a good circular path to follow to round off those corners. But for my purposes, since I have this crocodile, I'm going to pull it in and just go ahead and round my corners off with the one quarter inch setting. Just going back over each, checking to make sure that that tissue paper is adhered and laid down. Now I want to define my cards. So I've pulled another index card in and I am cutting two strips to be utilized as a pocket on the front of the index card and a pocket on the back. Now, for the front, I think I'll put a little thumb hole. So I'm folding it in half to give me the true center and then eyeing the center of the little thumb punch or the thumb hole and punching with my one inch circular punch. So now I have the two pockets ready for each and I'm just kind of working on two at a time here. So now I want a little tab to put at the top. I do not have that fancy tab making punch. So I am utilizing my crocodile and just rounding those corners 
folding it in half, rounding those corners to one quarter inch, and just determining how big I need to make it or how long I need to make it. I think I had it a little long, so I'm gonna trim it down. And let's make one for the other card. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this down at the beginning, round off those corners. And there, it's not an elaborate tab, but it is a tab nonetheless. So now I have all the components for each of my card. I have the index card covered in tissue paper. I have my two pockets and a tab. So I would like to color all of these at the same time. I want to add some color to the texture that we have laid down with that tissue paper. I'm choosing on this particular card to use vintage photo, some brush corduroy. This is brush corduroy. Now I'm coming back with the vintage photo. And I will do that both sides. I'm laying quite a bit of that Distress Oxide ink down on these cards. It is soaking it in pretty good, but I do think I may have saturated it quite a bit. So I'm going to pull out a dry baby wipe and just kind of mop up that saturation. And now to finish them off, I think I will hit them with just a quick spray of the peeled paint on both sides. Now I'm only doing the pocket and the tab on one side. It's just the index card that I'm flipping over and doing both sides. Now I'll set that aside, allow it to dry. Once completely dry, I'm coming back with the vintage photo and inking around the edges of everything. I've also taken um, and made sure, trimmed it down, made sure that I don't have any little straggly pieces on any of the edges. And now I have the Copper Gilder's Paste Wax, and I'm just very lightly, barely touching, going over the top of this card so that I pick up that texture that the tissue paper has created. And I will do that, just add a little bit of that there's no texture on the pockets because we didn't lay the tissue paper down on those, but I will add just a bit of this paste wax randomly to pull that color in, that co copper color in. And the same for the tab. I'm gluing the tab with just some um, glitter glue. You can use any type of glue you have. That just happens to be what I have at Easy Access on my table. So I shall glue that down. And now I'll come back in with the pocket. Now I started, I glued this pocket down with a thumb hole and I'm gonna pull it off. You're gonna watch me pull it off as well because I think that I should have glued that pocket on second instead of first. So let's go ahead and make the mistake. I didn't edit it out. I thought, why not? We'll just leave it in. So now I flip that over and decide to staple this one in. So I create two little pockets on the back, but now the back of my staple is going to go right through that first pocket. So I'm going to pull it off add the pocket on this side of the card, grab my stapler and staple. And you will notice that my staple is gold. That is because I painted my staples with a thin coat of acrylic paint. And now we can put that other pocket back on and we're not stapling through it. Once again, around the outside edge to get the outside edges of those pockets with the Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. And 
And that pretty much completes the construction of the pocket of the index card. And now, you know, I just need to decorate it up a bit. I have a little um, smear or a little part on the tab that the paint came away and I had a little tear. So I'm going over that with my liquid pearls and go ahead and add the liquid pearls to the edge of the pocket. I went with a line across that again, something that I'm not really happy with. So I'm going to come with the baby wipe and wipe that off and just hobnail this with um, some little dots of those liquid pearls in the corners. And that kind of disguises and covers up that little distressed portion of that tab. And once that's dry, I'll flip that over and do it on the back as well. But those liquid pearls need a good, a good drying time. Here is the other color. I thought I'd bring that out and show you that I'm using a different uh, colored paste wax. That is a bunch of different greens. I believe I use Cracked Pistachio, the peeled paint, and mowed lawn on that one. So I'll put all the colors that I use down in the description on all four of the cards. But they're all together now, and I just want to decorate them up. I have this collection of stamps. I do not have a lot of ephemera. I just don't collect it. So most of what I have, I receive in Happy Mail. Everything else I kind of make myself. I'm just not a big purchaser of ephemera items. If I see them at a thrift store or an antique store, I might pick a bunch up if they appeal to me. I love the, the postage stamps and I receive those in Happy Mail. So I've used two postage stamps on each. And I used a little, um, the little die cut from index card number three, the specimen card. I had a bunch of those left over, so I'm using those as well. Trying to decide if I want to add some lace to these. And I put it in all kinds of configurations on the index card, and I just couldn't come up with one that I liked. So I'm foregoing the lace and just utilizing two postage stamps, and that little index card die cut from Project Week 3. And we'll just do the green one as well. You can see the blue one up in the upper right corner. And now that I have laid that little die cut of another index card down, I believe I'll add a little bit of stamping to that. And I just randomly grab three letters, put them together with my painter's tape, and we'll stamp up each of those note cards. So those three letters, the 931. No significance in the numbers, just random. And that completes the cards. So hop on over to my Facebook group at Two World Crows Mixed Media. Share your images with what you've done this week with your index cards. I'm going to share a photo montage of the ones I did.
Thanks again for being here. And I shall say bye for now. The playlist for the entire month is right here.